Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in and listening to Unit 11's Day 6 and 7 Star Story, The Little Engine That Could. Chug, 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 poof, poof, poof. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. For she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toys, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no neck at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever see saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red checked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all these good, those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the do dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you? I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain. With more cars than you ever dreamed of, my train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining, dining car with waiters, bringing where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I, the likes of you, I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. And off he steamed to the roadhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown caught out the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. There, Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed, I am a freight train. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountains. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine pulled, puffed off. The little train and all the dolls to and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, dusty, old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine signed, I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull a even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roadhouse chugging, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot.
Then indeed the little train was very, very sad and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here is another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one, maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along when she saw the toys the toy clown's flag she stopped quickly what is the matter my friends she asked kindly oh little blue engine cried the dolls and toys will you help us pull us over the mountain our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us please please help us little blue engine I am not very big, said Little Blue Engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have not been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes, and she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who will not have any toys or good food unless she helps them. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged, and slowly, 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 they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and the toys and animals began to smile and cheer. Poof, poof, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster and faster and faster and fatter, faster the engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. The end. Thanks for listening to our star story for the day, The Little Engine That Could.